Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Maya with Simply Bloom. So all my citrus that I started by seed, so I have lemons and oranges. I started them by seed in like February or March. Uh, I was pulling them all out. I have them all in window seals and um, I was pulling them out to water and do all that just maintenance. And I realized they have spider mites. They have spider bites. I live in zone three, Northern Minnesota. When I lived in Montana for five years, I really didn't do much of gardening, but I, I saw spider mites, like, you know, they were there. For some reason in my brain, call me naive, I did not think we had spider mites in Minnesota. Like I thought it was just too cold. I've never seen them before. And um, my husband, we, we all got sick over Christmas. He was actually napping and still recovering and I felt kind of bad. I ran and woke him up <laughs> from his sleep and I'm like, are these spider mites? I didn't think we had spider mites. And he looks at me and he's like, yes, we have spider mites in Minnesota. And uh, for those of you who don't know, he used to own a garden center greenhouse and then we sold it when we moved to Montana to be closer with some other family on his side. And he said out of thrips and aphids and spider mites, if he had to choose one to deal with at the greenhouse when he owned it, he would have preferred to have spider mites because he said you just take the infected area and a little bit along the perimeter that's not affected and he said you just throw it out problem solved like done uh didn't have to treat or anything but he said when it comes to house plants spider mites are like the worst thing to get rid of and i don't want to just throw my citrus away because it's looking so good so we are going to see what we can do. I wish I would have taken a video when I saw them just to show you what it looked like, but I freaked out. I had just gotten out of the shower. I had my pajamas on. My hair was in a towel still. And uh, I ran and grabbed the rubbing alcohol and I just doused a napkin in it and just wiped the whole plant down. Um, later I found out after doing a little bit more research, you're supposed to dilute it with water. <laughs> Hopefully all my leaves aren't brown when I get home. I left super early for work this morning. Didn't even look at them. So we're going to see. I watched Laura from Garden Answer. She did a whole video on spider mites. I watched her video. I'll leave that link down below. She said a lot of times when treating spider mites, it's not a one and done thing. It's a several treatment course that you have to do um to treat you know the adults and then a few days later eggs can hatch so then you have to treat those and she also said it's best to treat it with two at least two different type of things because they can uh, become immune to one certain product you're using so she said Go get two different products with different active ingredients that are both good for spider mites. So I'll probably continue to use the rubbing alcohol correctly though. And I thought I would run into Home Depot. That's where I'm at in the parking lot and see what I can find. Honestly, I don't know what I'll be able to find. Uh, my Home Depot is not, there's really nowhere that's the best to go to get stuff like this where I live in my town. But they do have plants at Home Depot, so I thought, why not swing on over? I can look at the plants. I won't get any because I don't, I want to tackle this um, spider mite issue before I get new plants. But anyways, that's what go <laughs> that's what's going on in my life. So let's run in. We'll see what we can find. And then I'll go home and bring you along with me as I treat this. And if you have any recommendations, please let me know. All right, let's go in. Okay, upon entering Home Depot, I just had to swing through the plant section. There were a lot of plants, but a lot that didn't really catch my eye, but these cute little things, Peperomias from Proven Winners House Plant Collection. I thought these were really cute, which surprised me because normally I'm not a huge fan of Peperomias, but these were cute, the variegated and then just the solid green ones. They remind me of jade plants, which I really, really like. And then I stumbled across these. I need, I don't need, I want one of these so bad. 
I've always had my eye on these for like the past year. I just haven't got one yet. So hopefully once this issue, bug issue is under control, I can go get one. So then I just stumbled and found the insecticide section, I guess you could say. And there were a few, I was kind of deciding between a few of them, but then I reached and decided on the insecticidal super soap, which Laura talked about in her video. Okay, you guys, I ended up getting insecticidal soap, which is like the first thing that Laura recommended in her video. She also said it's like the least harshest. <laughs> and uh, since I'm using this indoors and I have kids and pets as well as like myself inside, I didn't want to go with something super duper harsh. And she said that for indoor purposes, this is a very good uh, option for house plants and stuff, just being that it's indoors. So I'm gonna try this and I'll probably apply this today. And then in like five to seven days, I'll do another uh, diluted solution of rubbing alcohol and water give it another week and then probably use this again and then just watch it from there. So let's run home. I actually have no idea how to use this. I will read the instructions. I'm guessing you just spray under the leaf and on top of the leaf and the stem and all around. So that's what we're going to do. So when I got home, I was happy to see that the plants were still green and it's hard to tell in this video, but there were actually lots of little speckling on the leaves and that's where the spider mites actually suck out all the moisture. So I began with just reading the instructions and this is the first time I've ever used any form of spray. So honestly, I was nervous, even though it's like the most least harsh spray there is. There's a lot of good info, so I encourage no matter what you are using, read how to use it, read all the info, and make sure you are using it properly, and that will also result in the best results. So I began with just spraying away. I was trying hard to keep it all in the tidy tray and to spray the tops and the bottoms of the leaves, really trying to focus on the bottoms, but it was hard. Being that it was in my kitchen, I didn't wanna spray down my whole entire kitchen. Looking back, if I had to do this again, I would probably do it in my bathtub, but for for this moment, I thought the kitchen would be the easiest spot to do it. you guys I am done I have to say that was kind of a scary process I have never ever used a spray for insects before like never so that's my first time that's also why I started with the insecticidal soap because Laura said it was pretty uh not harsh I did not feel real comfortable doing it in my kitchen thinking back I should have like done it in my shower or bathtub but I think I cleaned it really well. I wiped down like the extra residue if there was any on the counter and I scrubbed it real well with just hot soapy water. So hopefully that's good. It is nighttime. I'm sorry for the lighting issue. I just wanted to make sure the kids were in bed, not around me while I was spraying stuff. If it was summertime, I would do it outside, but it is winter time and it's too cold to do it outside. I read the instructions really well. I liked that it you could look at what crop you were spraying and then it said how long you need to wait between treatments and um, like how many times per year you should do it if you have issues. But I'm trying this. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> We will see if anyone else has advice, please let me know. But that is it for this video. Hopefully this works, hopefully. Uh, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you next time, bye.